If you're still using wired earphones or even older AirPods and you're looking for an upgrade, stop. I'm going to give you seven reasons why I think getting the AirPods Pro right now is still a great choice. I've had these AirPods Pro for about a year now and personally I think that these are the best earphones I've ever owned. Firstly, the price. When the AirPods Pro originally came out they were priced at $249. Now, in typical Apple fashion, almost three years later, they are still priced at $249 or £139. At this price, yes, that's still a lot of money. But if you look at sites and shops away from the Apple website, then you can get these for as low as £179, making these a much more attractive product to buy. The next reason is comfort. And I understand that some people may not be comfortable with in-ear earphones as it works for some and not for others. But for those of you that can handle in-ear earphones, then you'll find these so comfortable to wear that you'll even be able to use them you know, for those long haul flights. You know, those ones where you need to do something for hours. With these, you just stick a podcast series on, listen away in comfort. And you know, sometimes I even forget I'm wearing these because they are that comfortable. And they are made for different sized ears because you'll get three differently sized silicon tips, small, medium and large. That should conform to most people's ears. And if they don't, there is a wide range of third party options that are also available in different colours that can also attach to the AirPods. Now I've got the largest silicon tips attached to these and they provide a comfortable wear that I could actually wear them for hours at a time. I'd wear them longer, but unfortunately they do need to charge it up after about four to five hours of constant use. The advantage of in-ear earphones like these compared to, I suppose, non-ear earphones like the non-pro AirPods is that there is less chance of them dropping out of your ear when you're doing something active like running or just doing a workout. And that suction gives you the security of that secure fit. And together with them being sweat and water resistant means that you're not going to have to put them away for another pair of earphones during that workout or even walking the dog in the rain. Next is sound quality. Even at about 50% sound intensity, you're going to get a really good sound output. If you're after a pair of earphones that are going to give you a deep bass to your favourite dance track, then these won't give you that. So instead of that heart pounding beat to the track, what you get in its place is great clarity. And no matter what loudness you play your music or podcast, you're always going to get clear and concise balance to what that whatever you hear, you're going to get it without it ever being distorted. I would describe the quality of the sound coming out of these AirPods Pro very similar to that of the HomePod Mini. It lacks that true depth in bass but more than makes up for it in the clarity and quality no matter what the loudness. Moving on from that sound quality, the active noise cancellation, one of the best I've ever used. At times with the ANC on, if I close my eyes, I could very well be in a silent room. Sometimes you'll still get that low rumbling of traffic getting through, but if you bypass that, then you can still remain in total immersion at times. So it can be so good at times that I wouldn't recommend having this on if you're about to cross roads, you're walking alone, or things like that, because you'll not hear anything coming. So if you do wear these in ANC mode, just make sure that you're safe. And in those times when you don't want to be immersed with active noise cancellation, you want to be a little bit more social, then there's the transparency mode. Instead of blocking that sound out from the outside, the transparency mode lets the sound from the outside in, allowing you to hear your environment without interrupting the quality of what you're listening to. The way Apple has developed the transparency mode in these little earphones removes any feeling of artificialness between how the sounds of your environment sound to you with the AirPods Pro in and with them out. I've had many conversations with people with these in my ear without ever getting that feeling that I'm talking too loud or because it's so natural talking with them in. In this mode, it's almost as if I've not got them in at all. And it's all thanks to that microprocessing that's going on within the H1 chip that's inside here. The next reason is simplicity. Pop them into your ears and they connect almost instantly to your device. Nothing complicated by its design. You know, tap once to play, pause or answer phone call, tap twice to skip forward, three times to go back, press and hold to cycle between active noise cancellation and transparency mode, simply saying, hey, to make a request. What more do you want from that? No touch sensitive sensors that can get touched easily. Just that button on each stock. The last reason is connectivity. Apple wouldn't be Apple if they didn't make a device that worked well and best with other Apple products. And the AirPods Pros, like other AirPods and Beats earphones, does exactly that. It feels at times that it's connected to all of your active Apple devices, but only plays the sound from the one playing the sound at the time, which is so convenient. But this convenience can become frustrating at times. For example, 
when you're playing music on one device like your iPhone but in the background you want to watch a video on your Mac your AirPods will automatically swap to the Mac to play the audio on that and pause the music you were listening to on your iPhone. Frustrating and the only way to remedy this is manually disconnecting from one device but putting that issue aside if you've already got a suite of Apple products like uh, iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch and you want or need a pair of earphones that are going to sound great and fit in perfectly then the AirPods Pro is still a great option for you and those seven reasons that I've just mentioned and there's so much more that I could have mentioned like the special audio, adaptive EQ, conversation boost for people who have hearing difficulties, the Find My integrations in the case if you lose your AirPods and the case itself. In the past you would have had multiple pairs of earphones or headphones scattered about the place to cater for different things but having these AirPods Pro means I only need these for everything I do whether that's working out, relaxing, chatting to people on the phone or just catching up on peaceful times or without ever sacrificing sound quality because what you get out of these for most people will sound awesome. If these suit your lifestyle let me know in the comments below what your favourite features are and if you're interested in an equally great sounding speaker then check out my review on the HomePod Mini. Press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.